Welcome to the Finance News Network. I'm Anna Napoli and joining me now from TLX Pharmaceuticals is co-founder and CEO, Dr. Christian Berenbrook. Christian, welcome back. Thank you, Anna. Nice to be here. First up, can you remind us about TLX Pharmaceuticals? What's your focus and how is the company progressing? We specialize in the treatment of two different types of cancer, urologic malignancy, so prostate cancer and kidney cancer, and also an aggressive type of brain cancer called glioblastoma. And uh, we're a pretty late stage company, so uh, many of our programs are getting quite close to market. Christian, before we talk about your portfolio, can you tell us about the science behind the approach? Basically, when we treat cancer, we use three tools. We use radiation, surgery, and drugs. And what our approach does is it combines radiation and drugs together. Traditionally, what you'd do is you'd put a patient in the basement of a hospital and you would shoot x-ray beams at them from a linear accelerator. Instead of doing that approach, we use drugs to carry the radiation to the patient's tumor. And it's, it's, it's a much more effective way to treat patients. And turning to your development pipeline, can you tell us more, starting with your prostate cancer treatments? So one of the neat things about our products is we actually get two products in each indication. So if we inject a small amount of radiation into a patient, we get an image. So we can put a patient into a thing called a PET scanner. And we can get an amazing picture from the toes to the nose of the patient everywhere where that target is expressed or where that drug goes. Um, and so we develop an imaging agent and a therapeutic for each of the indications that we go after. So our prostate cancer program is the most advanced program um, and our imaging agent is just about ready to go to market. So we've completed the clinical development. The renal cancer program or the kidney cancer program is a little bit behind. Uh, it's in phase three trials right now and our glioblastoma program is in phase two development. And what's the market size for, say, the prostate cancer? So prostate cancer is our biggest uh, opportunity. Um, it's about five times bigger than kidney cancer and brain cancer, which are uh, much less common uh, cancers. Uh, the prostate cancer market is a multi-billion dollar opportunity today, but the drugs that are available don't have uh, a very large survival benefit to patients, usually just a few months. Um, so we think that we can pick up a fairly substantial part of the five or six billion dollar uh, market for treating metastatic prostate cancer patients. Christian, what then is the competitive landscape and your strategy? So the field that we're in, which is nuclear medicine, is a pretty nascent field from a commercial vantage point. So there are relatively few companies uh, in our space. Uh, our competitor actually was just acquired by Novartis for $2.1 billion US, so uh, it's a, there's a lot of commercial attention uh, to the space. Uh, in the prostate cancer arena, we have a bit of competition because delivering radiation to treat prostate cancer is very effective, but in the renal cancer and glioblastoma uh, arena, we have very little commercial competition. And can you give us a sense of where TLEX is in terms of commercialization of these treatments? Well, it's a big inflection point for us right now because we've actually started to make some early revenue. So uh, at the end of December, we launched, we did a soft launch of our first product uh, in prostate imaging. And, and about 100 cancer centers around the world now use that product routinely under a, a limited uh, use. Um, we're in the process of preparing for product approvals in the US and Europe, which will take about a year. Um, and the market opportunity then for the prostate cancer imaging is a multi-hundred million dollar uh, revenue opportunity that will unlock very quickly for the company. Christian, it sounds like there's a lot of opportunity there. What are the three major milestones for TLEX over the next six months? Well, in the next couple of months, we'll be able to give shareholders clarity on how European and, and US regulators feel about our prostate imaging uh, product. So um, we'll have clarity on the pathway for approval there. Uh, we'll, we'll also be shortly um, seeking guidance on our phase three trial design for our prostate therapy. That's a huge inflection point for an oncology company to become a phase three uh, therapy company. And then last of all, our kidney cancer imaging trial is in recruitment and uh, we're hoping to still complete enrollment by the end of the year or early next year. And that'll be then our second completed product. So there's a lot to, to watch out for and, and certainly a lot of um, important inflection points to hit this year. There's a lot going on. Christian Berenbrook, thank you for the update. Thank you for your time, Anna.